Washing your hands is more important than ever, but have you ever thought about how soap is made? In this lesson, you will create a portfolio of environmentally friendly soaps with different properties, shapes, colors, and aromas. You will learn about the chemical reactions necessary to create soaps and how to formulate soaps by combining different oils, like olive oil, palm oil, and coconut oil, and also essential oils to explore various qualities of soap, including antibacterial capacity, foamability, detergency, oiliness on the skin, spreading, scent, appearance, and consistency. You can even make this a competition to see who produced the most balanced and creative soap portfolio. These are the materials that we will need for this lab exper experiment. From left to right, we have soap molds and egg whisk, a silicon spatula, pellets of uh, sodium hydroxide, pH paper, a 2000 milliliter glass beaker, and a hot plate. Unrefined virgin coconut oil. You can also use any other oil of your preference, like palm oil or olive oil. Just make sure that, you, that it is unrefined. The quantities indicated in this lab are specified for making soap from coconut oil. In case any other oil or oil mixtures are used, refer to the light calculator shared in the lab manual to estimate the amount of sodium hydroxide and the still water needed. We also have essential oils for the soap, but those are optional. Make sure that you have all of your protective gear with you, your lab coat, goggles, and gloves. We're going to start by weighing out 300 grams of coconut oil directly into the 2000 milliliter glass beaker. We will also weigh 48.1 grams of sodium hydroxide, NaOH, that we will use to prepare our, our NaOH solution, also known as lye. Make sure that you don't touch the pellets with your bare hands and that there is no moisture in the weighing pan or beaker. Sodium hydroxide, both the solid and its solutions, are very corrosive and can cause severe burns. Finally, we will weigh 107.5 grams of distilled water. You can buy the distilled water at your local grocery store or get it directly from your lab. Next, let's place the beaker containing the coconut oil on the hot plate and heat it to 85 degrees Celsius. Keep track of the temperature with a thermometer. You will notice how coconut oil will start melting at around 35 degrees Celsius. Gently stir the oil with a spatula to homogenize it as it starts melting. Here you can see how the coconut oil starts melting as the temperature starts rising. While the coconut oil is heating, let's prepare the sodium hydroxide solution or lye. We will need to dissolve the sodium hydroxide pellets in the still water using a 600 milliliter glass beaker. Slowly add the sodium hydroxide pellets to the water. 
Remember, always add base to water. When sodium hydroxide contacts water, it produces a large amount of heat, so you want to do this slowly and carefully. You can add a few pellets and stir the solution using a glass rod until all the pellets dissolve. And repeat this procedure until all of the sodium hydroxide has been dissolved. Follow the guidelines outlined in the safety section of the lab manual for more information. Now that we have finished making our light solution, let's go back to the coconut oil which is fully melted. With all of our materials prepared, let's jump into soap making. Let's start by slowly adding the sodium hydroxide solution into the coconut oil. Make sure to constantly stir the mixture with the whisk while pouring. You will also need to adjust the temperature so that it remains at 85 degrees Celsius. At this point, all we need to do is to continue to stir the mixture. If you want to get more creative, you can add a few drops of your favorite essential oil or coloring to improve the aroma and appearance of your soap bar. After a while of mixing, the mixture will begin to harden and you will be able to see traces of soap. In the soap making world, this is called the tracing point. It might take up to 30 minutes to reach this point. Have your molds ready for transferring the soap. Based on your mold selection, you can play around with font shape for your soap bars. Once the tracing point is reached, quickly transfer the soap to the silicone molds. This should be done quickly to prevent solidification of the mixture. Use the spatula to scoop the excess soap into the molds. Measure the pH of the soap using pH paper. Add a few drops of water to the surface and then rub the pH strip on it. Record this value as the pH at date zero. The pH of the soap should be around 11 due to the presence of unreacted sodium hydroxide. This is very alkaline and therefore it is not safe to use. Allow for the soap to harden for about 24 hours before demolding. After 24 hours, demold the soap and air dry inside a paper bag. Track the evolution of the pH until it reaches a value of 10 or below 10. Between a pH range of 7 to 10, the soap will be safe to use. 